the 125th birthday celebration of the automobile continues here in Stuttgart. And on this sunny day, you will see an auto convoy of about 40 cars representing the evolution of cars, starting from the beginning up to this most modern specimen, the SLS AMG E-Cell. So join us and you'll see what we get to drive and what the others do. Hey, let's go. Was glauben Sie, woran es liegt, dass Sie heute in einem LKW, sprich im Aktors, fahren? Weil äh, in Lukas passe ich rein, mit meiner Größe, zwei Meter groß. Das ist ein richtig gutes Auto für große, für große Jungs. Thinking that I would be sitting in the back of a Maybach, reclining and getting a suntan with the roof down, was, well, a big mistake. Now my cameraman is lying in the back and I have to get him to work, but hey, tough luck, I'm the driver. Sir, where do we go now? Schnell, schnell. Jawohl. Well, we're sitting in a Maybach 62, long delay, the convertible version, at least for the passenger. Look at the crowds out here. Everyone has come out to see the classical cars and we're part of the action, driving one of the most expensive cars in a whole lineup. Ein wunderbarer Maybach. It's actually not every day that you have a chance to drive on a completely closed down Autobahn. And I'm close to be crying because I have 630 horsepowers with 1,000 newton meters of torque, yet I'm driving 40 kilometers per hour. Well, I've had worse, let's say this. <laughs> the Maybach is a car which actually is the most fun in the back. Now, I love to drive, yet in this car, I would like to sit in the back. You have business class airplane seats in the back. You can literally lie down and sleep on a long, long journey. Plus all the other luxuries. But we'll have a closer look. Magnificent. So this is pretty much how statesmen, billionaires, or perhaps even the Pope travels. From the driver's position, you can see it's handmade. This is pure luxury. So even a driver of a Maybach will always, always, always live and drive in pure comfort. We're entering the Schlossplatz now. And it's incredible how popular cars are because there are literally thousands of people here. Hey, hi. Ja, die tausende von Menschen an den Straßen. Das ist meine heute auch Kaiserwetter. Aber die Faszination Daimler ist grenzenlos. Ja. This is the whole lineup. Quite a wonderful park, huh? The Blitzenbenz is an astonishing car. It's actually a world record holder because it was the first car that exceeded 200 kilometers per hour and it had a very special record. It's probably the only car that was ever faster than an airplane. A record never to be repeated again in our modern times. The engine of the Blitzenbenz is also something extraordinary. It's probably the biggest straight four that I have ever seen. 21 liters, generates about 200 horsepower and of course propels this machine to over 200 kilometers per hour. The progress came quickly. Already in 1934, this car did 280 kilometers per hour. Now, if you look at the tires and this very exposed seating position, you can only try to imagine what daredevils these guys were. Try to do 280 in a modern road car, and you know it's a speed that is very, very daring. 
if you want to arrive with style and pomp, but not in a nouveau riche way, then the 300 SL is definitely the high mark of any stylistic performance. Everything here is chrome steel and it's polished and gives off a lot of bling. It's probably one of the most beautiful cars ever. Before the SLS AMG, Mercedes had a try with McLaren. And this is the result, the McLaren Mercedes SLR, a true super sports car. And it has, well, a resemblance of gold wings. I think this is a car I would like to test. Obviously, no celebration of 125 years of automobile is perfect without the most modern example of automobile art. Namely, the SLS AMG E-Cell. We're gonna go for a first ride in this absolutely quiet car. So, our first ride in an electric SLS. Wow, that's 571 horsepower in electric. What would you say, the acceleration, similar to the normal one? Awesome. Awesome, Much huh? Much better. It's 880 newton meters from the beginning on. Wow, so it's like a turbine. Let's see. And it's very interesting how the dashboard shows completely different values than the one we're used to from the normal one. Ah, you can see how the batteries are charged, how much energy got left, and here, of course, every single wheel has its own little engine. A ride in the SLS AMG E-Cell is quite a sensation. You can't hear anything, yet the power is there immediately. It develops like a turbine, and I can't wait to drive this car at a racetrack or on an open road. It's magnificent, it truly is. I think I found the perfect combination of a car. The beauty of the 300 SL Gullwing coupled with a convertible. And it's time to say goodbye from the 125th anniversary of the automobile in Stuttgart. And I am going to imagine that I'm driving off to a road trip into the sunset with this beauty.